can you be vulnerable with? Who can you be naked and not ashamed with? Because if we don't, if we, if we don't have that person in our life, we are dangerous. If we don't have that person in our life that is looking like a, a bishop, not one of position, but one of purpose, one of power, like Paul that says, listen, I see this person out there. I see the sins that they're committing. I don't care how gifted they are. I don't care what their title is. I don't care how long they've been in the church. I don't care how much time they pay. I don't care how much money they bring into the church. I don't care what their name is. I don't care if they're an author. I don't care what they have done in the body of Christ. They need to sit down. I need you to sit down and I need you to get it right with God so that you don't wound your whole life. Who is that person in your life? Who is that person in my life? Because if we have not identified that person, if we have not allowed that person to come in our life and speak truth to power, we're dangerous. We're operating on dangerous ground. And it doesn't matter if we're a bishop, a doctor, it doesn't matter if we are the saint that just got saved. All of us needs an accountability partner, someone that we can be vulnerable with, someone that we can tell the absolute truth and not just be honest, I mean, be transparent. I, I, um, I, I, um, one of the reasons that I love uh, Apostle David Davis, my former pastor when I was in Washington, he would make you really uncomfortable in some conversations. I, I wish he was on here tonight. Apostle Davis would ask you the tough questions like, um, what you've been looking at on the internet this week? Um, have you looked at porn? Have you, uh, what, uh, what about Instagram models? Who are the pages that you are following? Let's go through your Instagram and let's look through the pages and see who you're following. 